It's playing the Metroid Prime Remaster. Sniffing around, doing that end game cleanup. Hadn't run across a save point in about an hour. Then I died. All that progress, all that work. Gone. New games have made me soft. Anywho, there's a new remake of Children of the Corn. Did you know about that? Probably not. I don't think a lot of people did, which is why we need to talk about it. Because sometimes it's important to take out the trash. So Children of the Corn is another remake of an old film, or you can see it as a new Stephen King adaptation. So prefacing, I haven't seen Children of the Corn. I thought I did, and I was like, oh yeah, the one where the kid gets sucked into the wood chipper at the end. Oh, that was two? So I've seen two and three. So during a marathon in the 90s, I guess I missed one, but hey, them's the times. So I haven't seen the original, haven't read the book. I don't know how this stacks up. I just know how this movie stacks up in terms of its own film whether or not it's entertaining. Funny thing, this movie wastes no time. It, it gets to it. It's just like this little girl's like, you know what? Adult's gonna die today. Usually I appreciate it when a film can just get to it and not waste your time, but this is the kind of film that gets right to it and still feels like it's wasting your time. This movie needed a lot more intrigue, a lot more character development. Like let's have some time to get to know these people before things just fall apart. When I didn't get that in here, I was met with that feeling I usually get in Stephen King adaptations, which is, this would be a much better mini-series of some sort. This actually, funny enough, it felt like a mini-series that was cut down to about an hour and a half, an hour 45 minute film. What you think that's going to look like, this is exactly that. There were some things in this film where I'm like, I. I can almost see what you were going for there. Which means it was probably done better in the book. And if it wasn't, well, hey, this movie came dangerously close to making sense. It was when I was met with those feelings of, I'm sure there's some sort of allegory of people versus Twitter on here. Maybe I'm just seeing what I want to say. I would totally die in this Children of the Corn story, wouldn't I? That I'd, I'd be one of the adults they put in the pit and bury. Our two leads make the best attempt at giving us something. In fact, uh, the creepy girl, Kate Moyer, I, I believe that's her name. Yep, Kate Moyer. I felt she did a really good job at playing a creepy girl. I would like to see her have a shot at doing that in a movie with a better script for her to work with. And this is where I'm gonna give you light spo spoiler warning. Sure, I'm gonna talk about the big CGI thing at the end. <laughs> Are you still gonna see this movie? You can. All I can do is give you my opinion. What you do with that opinion, that is yours to do with as you will. That's as life should be. But if you are going to see this movie, blink twice if you're in trouble. Right. So this little girl in this movie is killing the adults to appease this, I don't know, this being that she calls he who walks. You don't really know what it is. You see a couple times, like, you know, a plant looking hand. You might hear a sound. Maybe you'll see the corn stalks moving. You're like, oh, something's there. Which works. That was any and all intrigue in this movie was based around that. I'm like, what is this thing? What is, what's going on? Then for the climax of this film, you see the big evil Groot cornstalk CGI monster. And I was like, Jaws, you should have done the Jaws. Famously, the story of the film Jaws is they couldn't get the shark to look right. So Spielberg was like, all right, we just won't show the shark for most of the movie. It worked out better for the film. It's like the textbook case of making lemonade out of lemons. That's also applicable to bad CGI. If you can't make the CGI look good, just don't show the thing. Because any of the intrigue I had was wrapped around this monster. And I thought it was kind of cool. You never really saw the monster. And then you see the monster. And any and all. We're talking all. 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 Intrigue was gone. And then it was our lead versus big CGI cornstalk monster thing. And it was terrible. Funny enough. You ever go on a long drive through, ironically, farmland or a desert, just basically long stretches of flat land and you do it for a while, long enough to feel like you're going about 20 miles an hour, but you're really going 75? Right, you're moving fast, but it barely feels like you're moving at all. That's what this movie feels like. A lot of shit happens very quickly, but there's no real attempt at getting the audience to care about the characters or having some narrative thread that weaves it together. So it feels like nothing's happening. You get glimpses of what looks like could have been a good movie there. And it's almost as though the film makes a conscious effort to avoid that. The Children of the Corn remake is dog shit. This movie committed not a cardinal sin, but the cardinal sin. It was just boring. All right, so Children of the Corn, 
What's your favorite Children of the Corn movie? I'm not even gonna press you with a question that implies that you need to watch this and tell me what you thought of this one. Also, favorite Children of the Corn movie? Whatever, let's just have some fun with it. Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.